Today, we're going to talk about the simplest way to grow your business. What is the simplest way? The simplest way is international expansion. And for some reason, a lot of people don't do it. A simple example that we talked about in a previous episode is Mr. Beast dubs his videos in different languages and has different YouTube channels for him. What's another example of this years and years ago, probably like five, six years ago, I started translating my site into multiple languages. And we have an ad agency in, you know, India, Brazil, although India, a lot of it's English speaking. We have Australia, UK, Canada. We just added Germany, which we'll announce in the next few months. So that'll be in German. We are going to be adding France and Italy soon as well. And then we're going to be doing the rest of LATAM as well as Southeast Asia and a few more places in Europe. But it's the simplest way. We're looking at one of our, not one, we're looking at most of our competitors because they're publicly traded. And majority of the revenue does not come from the United States. It comes from overseas. Yes, US is the biggest market. But if you add up the rest of the world, it's much bigger than the United States. And yeah, you know, Eric and I live in the United States and we love this country, but that doesn't mean the United States is the end all be all for business. You know, who cares? Go after all the countries that you can get into that, you know, you can sell your products, your services to. It's one of the easiest ways to expand. And what we found out is even though these other countries don't have as big of a GDP as the United States, there's just way less competition, which makes up for it. How many people in the world do you think speak English, Neil? I don't know, but probably if I had a guess, billion, billion and a half. That's exactly a billion and a half. So 21% of the world of 7 billion, it might be 8 billion now, who knows, but 21%, that's a very, that's not, it's a big number, but it's it's not as big as we think. And we tend, because we live in America, we tend to think it's like the best country. The, the, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. We love this country, but I think it's important to broaden your mindset and to also open your mind and think about how you can grow, right? And the, the other thing too is if you think about, it's not even just like growing your channels, but it's also growing your business as well, right? Because Neil, when you think about you guys, how many countries are you in? Germany will be our seventh. And then by the end of next year, we're trying to get to close to 17 to 20. Goal is 10 more next year. Or we have, we're not even technically in 10 right now, but goal is to add 10 next year add 10 the year after and keep doing 10 a year till we get to at least 50. Cause most of our players, there's 50 or so major markets that uh, most people in our spaces really need to worry about. Yep. So look at the end of the day, most people think about focus on your country first, get it right. But then when you think we start to think about expansion, start to think about international expansion, it works. It makes sense. That is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and we'll catch you later.